In previous videos, I have programmed real-time clock DS3231 using C language and RTC libraries. And in my previous video, I programmed real-time clock DS1307 using assembly language to display time and date on MAX7219 display. In this video, real-time clock DS3231 is programmed using assembly to display time, date, and temperature on MAX7219 display. DS3231 is a modified version of DS1307. It is highly accurate real-time clock that manages all timekeeping functions. It has two alarms, a programmable square wave output, and a 10-bit temperature sensor. It is interfaced with a microcontroller using fast I2C running at a clock frequency of 400 kilohertz as opposed to the DS1307 which ran at 50 kilohertz. It has a write read address shown here. A block diagram of the DS3231 is shown here. It has memory to store the time and date information and the alarm settings. Also, the memory has a control register and a status register. The DS3231 also has a digital temperature sensor which can generate a 10-bit temperature reading stored in the RAM. To access any location within the RAM, the user will send a byte via the I2C bus through the I2C interface in order to program the address register to generate a memory pointer that will point to the location to read from or to write to. The time and date registers of the DS3231 are located at memory address from 00 to 06 and the programming of these registers is similar to DS1307 discussed in detail in my previous video. The only difference is that in the month register we have the most significant bit here is the century bit which will toggle when the year overflows from 99 to 0. As mentioned earlier DS3231 has two alarms. The first alarm starts at location 07 to 0A and the second alarm from 0B to 0 D. Within the registers of alarm 1 we can set the seconds, minutes, hours, day or date of the alarm. And the most significant bit here and based on this truth table will determine the rate of the alarm. Programming of the alarms will not be discussed in this video but will be discussed in a future video. The control register located at address 0E is used to output the programmable square wave and also to enable the alarms. Applying a logic 0 at the most significant bit of the control register will start the oscillator and the frequency of the oscillator is determined by these two bits here and based on this uh, truth table so we can either have a 1 Hz, 1 kHz 4 kilohertz or 8 kilohertz square wave. Setting these three bits here to 1 will activate the interrupt pin output when there is an alarm match condition. Next we have the status register located at 0F which is a read-only register. This bit here OSF will be set when the oscillator stops. These two bits are alarm flag bits which are set when alarm condition occurs. The 10 bit uh, temperature value is stored in locations 11 and 12. Location 11 will have the 8 bit 2's complement integer part of the temperature, while location 12 will have 2 bit fractional portion of the temperature. As an example, let's say we have this 10-bit temperature value. So this most significant bit 
represents the sign of the integer part so 0 means positive 1 means negative and this 7 bit value here represents the integer value of the temperature and these two bits here represent the fractional part of the temperature so if, if we find the decimal value of this 9 bit number it's 101 we divide by 4 to get the temperature with the fractional part which is 25.25 Celsius another means of converting this value into temperature is to take the 7 bit value convert it into decimal which is 25 and then these two least significant bits represented as 00, zero means 0 0.00, zero fraction 0 01 means 0 0.25 1 0 means 0 0.5 and 1 1 means 0 0.75 fraction so in this case this would be 25 and the fractional part is 0.25 so 25.25 and the sign is positive a circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here we have the DS3231 module interface with the Arduino using I squared C connection and we have max 7219 8 digit 7 segment display connected to the Arduino using SPI connection and we have two push buttons one for the date and the other for the temperature connected to digital pins PD2 and PD3 The microcontroller uses I2C protocol to write and to read from the DS3231, which is shown here. And it is exactly the same for the DS1307, which was explained in detail in my previous video. We have two assembly programs. One is to write the time and the date into the real time clock, and the other is to read the time date and temperature and display it on MAC7219 display. A quick look at the right uh, assembly sketch. We need to write the current time. We start by sending the start uh, pulse and then the right address and then we send the uh, memory location of the seconds register which is 00, zero. and then we send the current seconds in binary coded decimal and then we send the current minutes and then the current hour and then we end the transmission with the stop pulse and apply a short delay next we program the current date we begin with the start pulse then we send the right address of DS3231 and then we point to the data register which is at address 04 and then we send the current day in binary coded decimal then the current month and then the current year and then we end the transmission with the stop pulse and apply a short delay and now we look at the assembly code to read time date and temperature we begin by reading time we read seconds minutes and hours and save them in registers next we read date we read day, month, and year, and save it in registers. Next, we read the temperature by pointing to location 11 in the RAM of the DS3231. And here we are only reading the integer part of the temperature and ignoring the fractional parts so as not to overcomplicate the assembly program. Now we have stored in registers the data for time date and temperature next we check the status of the date button if not pressed then this will be ignored then we check the status of the temperature button if not pressed then this will be ignored 
Then we display the seconds, the minutes, and the hours of the time on the MAC7219 display. If the date button is pressed, then we jump to the subroutine and we display the day, the month, and the year on the MAC7219. If we press the temperature button, then we jump to the subroutine and we display the integer part of the temperature on the MAC7219 while we display on the remaining digits 00. zero. We apply a delay of 3 seconds and go back and read the next time, date, and temperature values from the module. In a future video, I will program the alarm functionalities of the DS3231. Thank you for watching.